hello my friends and uh, welcome back to my channel we are going to do some prints today i need uh, some more decorated uh, book pages and i have been outside picking some leaves to use as a base to print with so we are going to paint on these and then press them down onto the paper so we don't need to make our own leaves by drawing them. It's much easier to do like this and use the real deal and print with. So um, I'm going to put the basket away because it's uh, taking a bit too much space of my table. And I'm going to pick the leaves as we go. I have prepared some colors, different browns, some brown ink and uh, black, beige and white so all neutrals today and uh, i think that will be perfect to have for the journals i have also taken some uh, paper these are watercolor painted uh, and uh, gessoed ordinary copy paper and then some old book pages. I have some uh, tracing paper that I thought we could try and some eco dyed paper that maybe can uh, get some more prints on. So that's my plan for today. I did find this uh, really old book. It's not any special um, beautiful font on them but the paper is kind of raggedy paper thick and uh, nice so we might try that anyway even if it's ordinary paper and it's uh, from 1939 so let's see I think we will start softly with uh, some book pages and uh, these watercolor pages. And see what we get, if it works, even works. But I have done something similar earlier, but I did it on um, a piece of a silicon mat. And now I'm going to print it directly onto the papers instead. So let's start with the, one of the leaves. I'm going to trim off the stem. See if we can. I'm, I want to use uh, the paint on uh, the side where we have most of the texture on the leaves. The veins is uh, heavy on this leaf, so I think that can get nice. And this is just a uh, book where for to have under the plants in if they will uh, smear off and it's perfect to have those there so um, should we start with um, the black might need some water I have a little bucket of water here so we can water it down a little bit don't want it too thick i still want the veins to be seen maybe we can blend with some ink and see if that's 
easier to smear on. Maybe I should use something to hold it with so I don't get totally black on my fingers. lift it off. I think that got a nice print. Perfect. Let's try to do another one with the same amount of color. It doesn't need to be perfect but that works. I think we can get at least two prints from each. We can still fill it with other colors if we find it that it wouldn't work, but it did. So now we have another print on that paper, a little bit on the top but uh, we can fix that with some uh, color and a pen later on so that's perfect put that to dry and take another one so should we go with the fern let's take different leaves out from the basket. And it's always easier if you cut off the stem. I like when they have these holes in them, that makes a nice pattern. Let's go with that first. So, Found to maybe layer different colors. That would work if we let that let them dry bit in between. on them. Okay. Let's take a book page.
like when it uh, got this little white part. You can always um, use some more color later on and fill them up. Let's use it for one more. I can take a smaller one and use kind of use part of it. It's almost uh, that it takes on the color a little bit better the other time you smear it out. Nice color. I think I need to take a big, bigger piece of paper to sew beautiful print so I think that will like this light pattern. See if we can use it for one more part of it. Blend it a little bit with ink. There is something called gloves, but uh, I never use that. Can't work with gloves on. put this here in case this will be too big for the paper.
almost felt like gold. That blending with the brown and beige and some ink. Beautiful. I think I would like to have this a little lighter. So let's put a thin layer of white on top of this. Blend it with some brown, it's also okay. use just some paper and kind of see if we can make a nice see-through. use baby wipes too. I think that might be even better. So what should we use next? This way you never need to paint a leaf by yourself. You can just uh, use nature itself and uh, borrow the patterns. Take that last one down so we can hold it. And uh, let the leaves overlap a little bit. That's uh, just nice. Looks natural.
so looks very natural. So let's do another one of those. Why didn't I do this from the beginning? A lot more easy. So let's take one of the old book pages. Give this a little bit more color. So should we go dark or should we keep on going with the white? We can spread the leaf in the top a little bit more. Okay, should we try the uh, tracing paper and see how that would look? colors so let's go with ink let's see if we can get this nicely brownish tone the ink is uh, liquitex acrylic ink burned umber Somebody wants to know. I have just dropped it into this one so it blends a little bit. That's okay. That was one that was. stay on. So let's put that away. Okay, 
get some differences on them. I'm not sure at all if this will work, so we'll see. Experimenting is always fun. This really looks like gold. This will be beautiful on top of some other pages like this. Or even the white ones. Look really nice. Let me press this down. Love that. So should we go with the fern? I haven't tried that yet. Just need to check how far we need to go down. We can save those for some smaller ones. need much a few drops but it's a little bit easier to get into all the creases in the leaves these are so small that the ink was needed on these smaller ones. Soaked it up totally different from the other ones. I should have maybe watered the acrylic ink down a little bit more before I started this.
well colored in at least. Might get a better print the second time. I'm not sure if this will totally smear off or if it get any nice pattern from it. it followed up so that worked. Now nice brown fern. was a really nice pattern on this one too. <laughs> Maybe I took the wrong side. Okay, can use that another time. But I think that the back should be the best one to use. I thought so at least. Now I'm not totally sure but So should we maybe use one of these white ones? it where it is and maybe press it down.
be a bit wild and crazy and move it to the other side. Still think I want to have more ink. Save that too. Like that small pattern. That was totally all right. So let's give this a friend. a little bit more water to make it rim into all the creases.
let's use this for the other paper too. One more, then I think we are done for now, and we can do the next part. Just need to decide which paper I'm going to use. just for fun just drip on some ink and see what happens and we put it down how it spreads it's just paper and ink so we don't need to be afraid patterns with um, the ink that's pressed out into the color not sure we will see it's fun to try if we could put in some yellow in these parts get it as a really as a fall colored leaf one more this is so fun We 
rinse the brush and see if we can get almost totally white. much <clears throat> press it onto this first I think take a bit of the amount of if we are going to get some nice clear pattern Very subtle, but uh, it might work uh, if we use some uh, distressed ink on that later when it has dried. Okay, we are going to leave these uh, to dry now, and uh, then I will uh, come back tomorrow and uh, we can play with them a little bit more, do some more decoration on them. So I hope you got some inspiration and had fun and uh, we will of course also put some in the journal. Thank you for keeping company. See you soon again. Bye bye from Sweden.